Hello everyone, this is Supreme Decisions and today I'm coming to you with kind of a movie vibe, but in the effects of Bad Cop. This is the series where I'm going to talk about just bad police officers doing bad police work. Well, I hate to do this, but this is actually part one because I don't have all of the officers involved. And unfortunately, it comes from my home state of Texas. Dallas, Texas to be exact. Where we saw the video of the four cops, because there's one that's actually filming it, that laughed at a disabled American veteran and made him urinate on himself. Now, the reason why I'm calling these officers bad cops you're just getting ready to find that out because I, I got a little information for you. Happened June 10th, 2023 at 1.30 a.m. Central Time because that's, you know, the time zone for Dallas. Officer James Smith, Officer Juan Figueroa Luna, and two other unnamed officers. I wonder why that is. Okay. Because I purely wanted to do this video for the idea of complete education. Almost a supreme educational moment, if you will. Okay, I'm gonna start off with something. I'm gonna start off with this basically because this is how you can not only sue the state of Texas, also the Dallas Police Department, each officer involved in their individual capacity, the employer of these officers that they were acting on behalf of, you know, serious pizza, i.e. milkshake concepts. Because I'm going to give you a few things that kind of sink in. And in that sink edge, I want you to catch what it is I'm giving you. Ready? One, the Dallas Police Department came out and stated publicly. These officers did not violate policy. And this was Kristen Lopez. And I want you to remember that statement. These officers did not violate Dallas police policy. Now, on the duty officer, a name of course because of his body cam, the other officers were marking this disabled veteran. Basically his call, the call that the veteran made to 911. And... Let's remember that. They were mocking him because we have a partial video on the body camera of an officer that was on the scene that was called there by from 911, and they were mocking him. The veteran, the person who made the call, who urinated on herself. Now, remember, Kristen Lohman said they did not violate policy. Now, the officers were said to have refused to look at the medical paperwork as required by law provided by the United States Army veteran, Donnell Lane. And here's where the fun comes in. Dallas Police Department made a decision not to investigate if the officers should review that paperwork. Now, why is that, why is that not amazing? The actual police department. The Dallas Law Enforcement Division has no idea what the law is. I want you to let that sink in. Police officers, their whole division, the Dallas Police Department, has no idea what the law is about someone's medical paperwork. I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. Now keep in mind, what I'm getting ready to say, these are my words. Ready? Jordan B. Prince said they don't they don't hire intelligent people. Okay. And I constantly show you police officers do not know law. Apparently, the Dallas Police Department has no clue what law is, which is an illustration of incompetence, which is one of the two things that's needed for the loss of qualified immunity. 
Yes, I paused for dramatic effect because I wanted you to catch that one. Now, the law in which we're speaking about is called Alley's Law, which states people lawfully on the premise of an establishment should be allowed to access a restroom if they provide evidence totality of circumstances. Totality of circumstances. Totality of circumstances. If they provide evidence that a medical condition that requires immediate access to a toilet facility should be allowed access. Should be allowed access if they provide evidence. These officers refuse to look at his paperwork. He provided evidence. They didn't know. The police department didn't know if they should have even reviewed it. Yet the law requires that they do. And here's the great point about it. He was there during business hours. Dallas Police, Dallas Police Department Lieutenant Anthony Greer didn't know the law. And I actually brought that up because that's for those who always ask, well, I want a supervisor on the scene. The supervisor's an idiot also. You're just inviting another gun to the scene with stupidity. Always keep that in mind. Because he did not know the law as a law enforcement lieutenant. Let that sink in. Dallas Police Department Lieutenant Anthony Greer made himself a co-conspirator, you know, an actor in concert because he excused the officer's behavior due to ignorance of the law. And they all lost, again, qualified immunity because incompetence is one of the two reasons for an officer to lose immunity. Irene Alanis, a major over internal affairs, did not know the law and excuse the behavior of these officers and Irene is a co-conspirator. She is an actor in concert because she also excused the behavior of these officers. And remember I said, you know, Kristen Loman, these officers did not violate Dallas police policy. Yet, Dallas police code of conduct states an employee should not ridicule, mock, taunt, or belittle any person, no matter on or off duty. I'm going to say that one more time because I'm pretty sure you didn't catch that in the cheap seats. They did not violate policy, according to Kristen Loman. Dallas police department Police code of conduct, their own code of conduct, it's theirs. It's not something that's foreign. It's theirs. Their code of conduct states, and for those who don't like what I just said, I'm reading it. An employee should not ridicule, mock, taunt, or belittle a person no matter on or off duty. You had two officers that were on duty, two officers that were all do off duty, and all were actors in concert of violating that policy. But wait, there's more. Remember the lieutenant, Anthony Greer, who didn't know the law to begin with. He excused their behavior because he stated, well, they didn't do it in front of him. Yet he was still there. And an officer turned off his body camera. I'm guessing should not be done at all. It's supposed to be implied of, unless he's standing there, 
in front of you and you're doing it to their face, it's okay. It blowing it went to his face, so it was okay. But they didn't violate policy. Two officers were on duty. Two officers were off duty. We have partial body cam footage. What do I mean? Because I just told you an officer turned off the body cam. Now I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read something else because I want to make sure you catch this. Got got time a little bit. Got got to make sure we get this because I want to. This is here. I want you to understand. Ready? Dallas policy stated officers did. Uh, Dallas department state. They did not violate policies. Two officers were on duty, two officers were off duty. We have partial body cam footage from one officer. Officers were laughing and joking about this U.S. Army veteran that was, you know, had been blown up or had, you know, shrapnel and stuff from Afghanistan, his tour in Afghanistan, because he urinated himself. Now, I want you to take note of a few things. In 2015, Dallas Police Chief stated in an open letter to media, we are liable for their actions when they wear our uniform in an off-duty capacity. That's the Police Chief of Dallas. That's, remember I just said that that makes them culpable because now they are accepting the fact that those officers were acting in capacity of a Dallas police officer. Whoops. Remember that statement too from the policy said, whether that one or off do. They're the responsibility of the Dallas Police Department. All four of them were violating that. All four of them were violating their policy. That was set up in 2015. And all of them were complicit in doing so through accepted incompetence. And that statement is why the state of Texas and the Dallas Police Department is liable for the actions of those four officers. Yes, I keep saying four because it was four. We only have two there. But just go. We're going to keep going. All off-duty officers are required to wear their body cameras when working in uniform. I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting ready to tell you where I'm reading that from because I'm, I'm, I'm reading that as well for those who are, no, that's not, that's not what it says. I'm show you where I'm reading that from in a second. But I got a question. Four officers there. All are required to have a body camera on and running during that moment. We have one turn on his camera during the ridiculing, you know, during the violation. Where's foolish from the other three? Dallas Police Department General Order 332.00 Body Worn Cameras 332.01 Program Objection A. The Dallas Police Department has adopted the use of body-worn cameras in order to accomplish several objectives. These objectives include, but are not limited to, number one, enhance department transparency to the public. Where's the public transparency from those three officers? But again, we, we, we have footage. I just showed you footage. That was turned off. 332.04. When and how to use the body worn camera. Section 3. It shall be deemed a violation of this policy for an officer to fail to activate a body worn camera or, remember the biggest words in law, if or and, or. Intentionally terminate a recording in order to commit a violation of department policy or law. Remember the policy? No employee shall ridicule. What? 
no employee shall ridicule, mock, taunt, or belittle another person, no matter on or off duty. Were they not doing that? Or did they suddenly stop at that point? These are bad cops. Officer James Smith, bad cop. Officer Juan Figueroa Luna, bad cop. The other two that are on that, bad cops. What is it? Lieutenant Anthony Greer, bad cop. Where's the next? Irene Alanis, bad cop. And she's a major. Kristen Loman, bad. They collectively laughed. They collectively joked. None of them knew law. And they all chose to accept this as okay behavior. You know, the man that actually has a dangerous job, the man that actually went to war with someone that was trying to kill him, actually was doing that. Not a thought, not a feeling, not, not, oh my God, I was in fear for my life. He was in the middle of an actual war. They thought it was funny. Supervisors, the cops, their overseer, all of them didn't know law. All of them are bad. And I know you, oh, it's just a few bad. Can we see some good ones? Because all of these are bad. I went through the Minnesota, 96% bad cops. Can we see some good ones? I'm going to continue this when we, when we flip this back and do what we do. But I want you to understand, this is a series that's going to continue. Because I want you to understand what it is that we have to go through, what we have to fight back against. Because if we're allowing this to continue to happen, it's our own fault. Oh, and you know what? I almost forgot. I'm back. Back in there. Because, you know, they like, well, it's not clearly established. <laughs> I love it. Clearly established. This was set up by the Dallas Police Department. They set this up themselves. Ready? August 31st, 2015. They set it up eight years ago. Clearly established no qualified immunity and they've accepted by public statement liability 